it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here is part two of this week's brush lettering video. I decided to split it into two parts because the first video just was way too long. So this is the second part here for Friday, uh, January 8th through to Sunday, January 10th. And like the previous video, I am focusing on two challenges here. According to Allie, where she's going over the basics of your alphabet, and then Heather Cal's challenge, which goes into a few more difficult, I say difficult, Difficult, but more intermediate words so that you guys can choose to do either both or just one um, at any stage of lettering I think it's good to do both to challenge yourself but then also go back to the basics all right so let's get started all right so one of the things that I mentioned last week was tracing pad tracing pad is actually really good if for example let's flip to this week here you're finding that this is not enough space for you you want more space to practice. So the tracing pad, I bought this at Michael's. It's just transparent paper and it kind of just looks like wax paper. But you can see how I used this to practice my strokes and like practice them over and over and over and over again. And it just makes it, like I did a lot of work in here. So you can actually buy this tracing paper at Michael's and what I'm gonna do is actually tear this tape out. I didn't rip that very easily. Tear this page out and what I'll end up doing is I'll actually punch the holes for the discs in here and put it in. I might cut off the edge a bit so that it actually fits in here. But you can take tracing paper if you want to do more than just what's here and then you get more practice with it that way. All right, so I'm actually gonna cut this out and put this in here, just one. So now for the letter H. There are three parts really to this stroke. Gosh, sorry, my hair. And I won't, I'll actually do it on the page versus the tracing paper. So the first part of the stroke is this. That kind of leading in tail. Then the next part of the stroke is the downstroke, like so. With a little, like that. And then the third part of the stroke is going like this. I will show you how it all looks once it's done. So first part here, downstroke, Bring it all the way over. There. So once again, you start with the my hand is shaking. You start with the tail leading in, down stroke, loop over, up, down stroke. And then lastly, the smaller H. I love again love love my lowercase letters because I can make them as loopy as I want to so for the lowercase h you start off with um, the upstroke like that and then down stroke and then up and over just like that so again you're breaking it down into its strokes here so once again you've got the quick upstroke or you can just do the stroke that goes like this then up and over, then that last part. Now this part I have trouble with because it really should be leaning forward, but there. There, okay. So I'll do a couple more and then I'll do some on the tracing paper here. So let's do the capital H again. And you can tell that I, I, this is the trouble spot for me. I need to work on that area. And then once you've got the basics, you can do a little bit more styling with it. So, get the tracing paper out. And then let's, I'm gonna go ahead and do 
some H's. So this really combines the strokes and really focuses on how you can connect them all. But what you can do if you're finding it difficult to connect them is really just separate them into the strokes. So up, over, and around. So you can lift your brush between each stroke. Oh, I love that capital H. It looks so, so just regal. There we go. How cool does that look? All right, so now we're going into Heather's word for day eight, and these are tough. So this one is actually quite a tough one if you're not used to it. So the word is commitment. Goodness gracious. Okay, commitment. So, C. T. Do you know what I love about this word? Is just the this flowy. So on the tracing paper, I'll show you just really quickly this stroke. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. There's something really mesmerizing about it. So if you want to practice that, instead of just practicing the word commitment, go ahead and practice that. So this is just the up stroke, down stroke, stroke, down stroke, and connecting them. All right, but I'm going to do commitment a few more times here just to get my just to get a handle on it because that is a tough word if you're just starting out but if you want to push yourself perfect and just for practice's sake I will do a few more of these now the other way as well so down up down up down up or up down up down up down. That looks so cool. All right, I'm going to do one more word commitment just because I feel like, or maybe two more because I didn't feel like I got as much practice as I should have. All right, so commitment. Perfect. All right. So then Saturday is the letter, oh blah, the letter I. Wow. The great thing about these lettering challenges is actually figuring out if I know my alphabet. So the letter I is very, it, it's almost like just the first part of the letter H. So you're basically starting with the top here, that one stroke, and then the next stroke is like a little letter J. That's the I. And then again. So really just two strokes. And then for the lower case, start from the bottom, go up, thin stroke, down stroke, and the tail. So again, thin upstroke, and down, and up. It's, there's something to be said again about doing drills. Because you're really practicing the pressure that you're putting on the pen. And I'm going to do a few more as well on my tracing paper. Oh, I forgot to change colors. Oh, well. 
So on the tracing paper, do the letter I, making sure I'm straight here. I really love that. Really, really love that. Now for Heather's challenge, the word for January 9th is determination. These are getting harder and harder. And actually it is good practice for anyone, no matter what your skill level is for uh, brush lettering. So the word is determination. So you've got the letter D. An E, T, I did not put enough of a tail at that. D turn, oh my goodness. I want you guys to remember that you do not have to keep your pen down for the whole word. That's the difference between brush lettering and hand lettering. Sorry guys, my camera totally crapped out on me. Okay, so letter J. The letter J is very similar to the letter I as well as the letter H. So you're really starting off with this tail part, but this end part is larger and more pronounced. And then the lowercase j is a little similar to the letter I. You've got, you start off at the bottom here, then stroke up, and then stroke down, but all the way down, and the letter j. So more, this part is more similar to the letter g. So it starts off the same as the letter I, but then it goes down like the letter g. So we'll practice a few more of those. Already running out of space on my memory card for this. Oh, and I forgot to change the color of the pen again. Oops. But then again, start off like that. All right. So go ahead and do a few more of those. I will go ahead and do a few more of those after because I'm actually running out of space on my memory card. So let's move on to, um, actually I will go ahead and do a few more on here just so that you guys can see. All right, so then Lastly, for Sunday the 10th, the word that Heather has is routine. And I feel like this is perfect for this because we want you, well, we, I say we, but I would really like you guys to get into the routine of doing this because the more that you put into it, the more that you will get out of this. Routine. Like with anything that you're working towards, if you make it a part of your routine, it's going to stick. And it's not a matter of, it's gonna be crooked. It's not a matter of talent necessarily or who is more motivated. It's getting into the discipline of doing this every single day so that you become more practiced and your progress comes along faster. So just adding this to your routine, even if it's 15 minutes first thing in the morning or 15 minutes at the end of the day, it will make such a huge difference.
All right, I am running out of camera space here, but I'll zoom out now. So there is the overall finished week. It's great to be able to have the tracing paper so that you have the ability to practice as much as you'd like. So I highly recommend if you want to, to go over this video as much as you'd like, pause it where you need to, and really just take the time to go and make this a routine for yourself. All right, uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.